Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing today's Cognizant Gen C interview experience. Two interview experiences I will be discussing in this video. One for the Java cluster and one for the Python cluster. I will give you the timeline in the description so that you can directly jump towards the Java and Python cluster interview experience. Both of these interviews happen today only that is on 16th May 2025. Because guys now phase 1 and phase 2 interviews both are going on currently. So make sure that whichever videos I am posting on this channel of interview experiences you do watch them because lot of questions can repeat in your uh, interviews as well. And all the interview experiences for 2025 batch that I have discussed till now is present inside this playlist that is Cognizant 2025 preparation playlist. I will give you the link of this uh, playlist in the i button or in the description box. Make sure to watch all the videos that are there because questions might repeat in your interviews as well okay so guys now let's start this video before starting the video make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and guys do join this telegram group it is dedicated for 2025 by students the link of this te telegram group you will find in the description box as well as in the i button so now let's start this video okay so guys first of all i will be discussing the java interview experience then the python one so first question of this interview was introduce about yourself and guys i have told you before this is the, the very important question of the interview in this you can include your education background your skills your extracurricular activities your internships your projects your uh, any certification that you have done all these things you can include in this particular answer okay moving towards the next question next question is do you know java so yes so since this was a java cluster interview so he just was trying to confirm that whether you know java or not next is asked me to write palindrome code okay so yes Coding question can also be asked to you in the interviews. Theory question and coding question and SQL queries also are important part of Cognizant Gen C interviews. Okay, so first of all, what is a palindrome? Palindrome is a string that reads the same forward and backward. Example, madam. So the code can be, we have made a new string builder and we have reversed it and we have converted it back to string. And this is the reversed string. I hope this is clear to you. Next question is, what are collections in Java? So collections in Java are used to store, retrieve and manipulate objects. Okay. So collections are used with the objects, but they are not used with the primitive data type. Okay. So some examples of collections are list that are array list set that is hash set set is an interface hash set is the implementation map and hash map map is again an interface and hash map is the implementation class. Okay. So you should know what are collections in Java very easy and very co common question in Java interviews. Next question is what are primitive and non primitive data types in Java? So primitive are that are already existing in Java. For example, int, float, char, boolean. These are primitive types, but non primitive are those data types which are created by programmers. For example, array, class, object. We create class and objects in Java and we make their objects. So these are non primitive types like creating the objects and classes. So I hope this question is also clear to you. Next question is what is the difference between list and linked list? Now <clears throat> list, what is a list? It uses a dynamic array. So you, you see whenever we uh, declare a list in Java, we do not give array list in Java. We do not give that how many elements it should contain. We can keep on adding those elements at the end of that array list. Okay. Now fast random access. So if we want to find an element on a particular index, then array list will be faster as compared to linked list because in linked list, slower random access we cannot access elements with the help of indexes linked list uses nodes as we all know next is insertion in list is slow whereas insertion in linked list is fast at the beginning and at the end because it is almost o of one only in the beginning and in the middle okay and in array list shifting is needed i hope this question is clear to you whenever a difference is asked from you uh, in the interview try to give at least at least two to three points of difference now guys coming to the main question here that how you should prepare for the interviews of Cognizant. See, uh, reading the previous interview experiences are must because many questions can repeat from it. But what if new questions are asked where you should prepare for those. So for that purpose only, we have important interview IT subject notes on our top mid page of Code Bashers. In these particular notes, we have covered all the subjects which are very important for the interviews, not just for Cognizant, but for every company. We have, uh, we, uh, all these are the IT subjects and in these notes, for every subject, we have around 20 to 25 important questions and their answers. For Cognizant Gen C purpose, Java 
uh, is must python is must dbms questions can be asked sql and coding questions can be asked so these five subjects are very important as per your cognizant gen c interviews are concerned but now tcs interviews will also be starting so all the subjects that are mentioned here are important for your tcs interviews as well so now if i will show you the sample of one of the pdf so this is dbms interview question pdf so you will see we have a proper question we have a proper answer how you have to answer in the interviews similarly for the java pdf also you can see here these are the samples that we have a proper question and a proper answer how you have to answer in the interviews so similarly for all the subjects mentioned here we have 20 to 25 questions and their answers like you have to answer in the interviews so these notes can be very much helpful for you for your last minute preparation okay and for revising your concepts and these are at a very nominal price of rupees 99 the links are in the description box do check them out if you think these can be helpful for you now continuing in the video moving towards the next question is difference between array and list now so it is almost same see array and array list now the one thing that is uh, the difference is array is fixed in size when we declare an array we give that okay this is the size of the array we want but list array list it is growable we can always add, add the elements at the end of the list okay so array can store primitive data types but array list since it is a collection so it can only store uh, objects okay so these are two differences main one so you can tell to the interviewer next question is do you have hands-on experience in sql so yes next question is uh, write the query for second highest salary so guys, this is a very commonly asked question in any interviews, not just in cognizant, cognizant, but for any interviews, second highest salary is very uh, common question. So this is the query for it. You can always take the screenshot for it. Okay. Moving towards the next question, explain the query. So what you have done, you have used subquery here and you are first finding the max of the salary and then you are excluding that max salary from the uh, remaining salaries. So you will get the second highest salary. Okay. Now, the last question of this Java interview was explain internal working of a hash map. So what does a hash map? So hash map is a data structure which stores the value in key and value pair. The search complexity of a hash map is O of 1. Okay, we can search keys based on O of 1. Okay, how it, uh, what is the internal working? Every key is used, is hashed inside to calculate the hash code for each key. That hash code decides the bucket where the entry is stored. Okay, and if two keys have the same hash, it uses a linked list. So key is used for calculating the hash code and the array index on which that particular key value will be stored okay this is the on the high level the internal working of a hash map so guys these are all the questions which were required for the uh, java interview i hope everything is clear to you you can always write your, uh, your doubts in the comment section i will be happy to help now let's move towards the python interview questions but before moving ahead guys please make sure to join this telegram group it is dedicated for 2025 by students do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because every like and subscribe will motivate me for making more such videos and in the next week also i will continuously make these videos for your preparation purpose okay so now let's start with the python interview questions okay so guys now coming to the python interview so first question will remain same introduce yourself i've already told you you can explain your uh, uh, skills your internships your projects your ba education background all these things you can explain within a one minute okay Next question is explain your project. Now guys see, whenever you are giving the interviews for any IT role, whether it is any company, so try to mention at least two technical projects in your resume. It will put a good impression on the interviewer. Okay. And when once he start asking about the project, then you will be able to explain that. And plus it will take a lot of time. So chances of you getting selected for the Gen C or Gen C Pro role will increase. In Gen C next till technical questions will be asked. But since Gen C interviews of, uh, are roughly around 15 to 20 minutes, so most of the time if projects will take, chances of you getting selected will increase. Okay. Next question is remove duplicates in the array. Write the Python code. So you can simply uh, write set. You, you can use set. Set. It will remove the duplicates in the array. Next question is subqueries. What are subqueries in SQL? A subquery is a query inside another query. For example, this is a subquery. Select match salary from the employee and select name whose salary is equivalent to the max salary of okay so this is how you can write subquery okay a query within another query is known as a subquery next question is ddl and dml difference very commonly asked ddl defines the structure of the table alter command create command okay so these are the ddl commands whereas dml commands are used to manipulate the data that is in the table 
insert update delete okay so these are the what you will say select command also these are dml commands that are used to manipulate the data so on the high level this is the difference next question is what are acid properties in dbms acid uh, a stands for atomicity c stands for consistency i stands for isolation and durability atomicity means all or nothing within a transaction either all the statements will run or no statement will run consistency means data remain, remains valid so when i'm sending you 5 rupees then 5 rupees should be debited from my account and 5 rupees should be credited to your account so this is data consistency isolation means when two or more transactions run parallelly so they should not affect each other they should run entire parallelly they should there should not be any dependency durability means changes are permanent after commit okay so these are these are the asset properties next question is what is the difference between set and tuple in python so set is uh, set is not ordered in nature as tuple is ordered in nature set does not contain duplicate elements but tuple do contain duplicate elements tuple is not mutable whereas set is mutable so what is mutable means that once the tuple is created it cannot be changed further set means if once a set is uh, set is made the, the elements can be inserted or deleted from the set okay it means it's mutable in nature i hope this question is clear to you now guys again moving uh, uh, before moving ahead i would like you to know that if you do not know from where you should prepare for your interviews we have important interview it subject notes okay so if i talk about cognizant gen c for python profile so python important oops questions are there okay python related questions are there dbms is a very important subject sql is a very important uh, subject because queries can be asked coding questions can also be asked in the interviews for your gen c roles so these are all the subjects are covered here which are very important for all the interviews of your companies okay for every subject we have around 20 to 25 important questions and their answer these particular notes can help you prepare for your last minute and can help you revise your concepts also for every subject important questions and their answers are given here so if i specifically talk about python so see here so we have a proper question here and we have proper answer that how you have to tell to the interviewer so we have clubbed these questions and answers from variety of many interviews of different different companies and subject wise we have given in these notes similarly if you will see the dbms interview pdf you will find that we have again the question and we have the answer for every subject that is mentioned here we have around 20 to 25 important questions and their answers that do get repeated in your interviews 70 to 80 percent questions do get repeated i repeat okay and these notes are at a very normal price of rupees 99 which can help you for your last minute preparation and for revising your concepts if you are interested the links are in the description box do check them out in these interviews also that i have discussed here whether it is java or python lot of questions are repeated from these notes only so do check them out they can help you for your preparation now coming back to the interview experience okay next question is what are list list in uh, list in python list are ordered changeable collections in python that can contain any data type so uh, this is a list at any moment it can contain an integer also a string also or a boolean or any different different types of data types it can contain in a single list also okay next is what is a dictionary again it's like a hash map key value pair is stored so this is how a dictionary is okay next is reverse a string in one line in python we will use string slicing for reversing the strings okay i hope it is clear to you next is remove duplicates in list in one line so again this was repeated from the last interview experience set uh, we can use set and we can do my list uh, given the code to guess the output so interviewer has given some code and you have to guess the output for it so i have not given that code here because the uh, this student did not remember that so just that output based questions were also asked from this interview if you are finding this video informative till now please hit that like and subscribe button and please join this telegram group it is dedicated for 2025 best students and do watch this playlist also in which all the previous interview experiences we have covered okay so yeah do hit that like and subscribe button next is what are different types of joins on the high level there are four types of join inner join common records in both table left join all records from left table plus common records in both the tables right join means all the records from the right table plus common records from both the tables full join means all the records from both the tables okay next is what is self join if a table is joining by itself it is known as self join simple next is what is the init method init method in python is used in the classes and it is a constructor whenever an object is created this init self method is created okay 
Next is what is inheritance. Inheritance, uh, as we all know, inheritance allows one class to reuse the properties or methods of the other class. Okay, so there can be different different types of inheritance: multiple inheritance, multi-level inheritance, and uh, single hierarchical inheritance. All these types are different different types of inheritance. Next question is what is the difference between delete and truncate? So delete uh, deletes the rows one by one, whereas truncate deletes all the rows at one go. Okay, can use where with delete, but cannot use where clause with the truncate. Rollback is possible with delete, but rollback is not possible with truncate. Okay, the delete is slower than truncate, and truncate is the fastest way of deleting the data from the entire table. Now the last question of this interview was what is the pass keyword? So pass means do nothing, used as a placeholder. We can it is a basically a simple return statement that once this function is called, do nothing, just return uh, void. Okay. So I hope all these questions are clear to you. I have covered here the Python interview questions. Please write in the comment section if you want more such videos and you find these videos informative and when is your interview and if you have given the interviews, write down the date also and you can share your interview experiences on our telegram group or you can contact me for sharing them. I will be happy to make more videos. Okay, just like and subscribe this channel and do check out this playlist for previous interview experiences and do check out these notes for your preparation for your last minute preparation for the interviews. All the relevant links you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. Thank you for watching this video.